Welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on configuring DHCP in Windows Server 2016. In this video, you'll learn how to install the DHCP role, configure the service, and set up an IP address pool to automatically assign IP addresses to client devices on your network. Before we begin the configuration, let's first understand the significance of a DHCP server in a network environment. DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a service that automatically assigns IP addresses and other network settings to devices on a network, such as computers, printers, phones, and more. Without DHCP, network administrators would have to manually configure IP addresses on each device. This is time-consuming and increases the chances of configuration errors like duplicate IP addresses or incorrect subnet masks. A DHCP server solves this problem by automatically assigning IP addresses from a predefined pool, called a scope, ensuring efficient and accurate IP management. It also provides other important information, like the default gateway and DNS server settings. Whether you're managing a small office network or a large enterprise environment, DHCP is a vital service that helps devices connect to the network quickly and reliably without manual setup. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to configure DHCP on Windows Server 2016 so it can automatically manage IP addresses and network configuration for all client devices in your network. Let's begin by opening Server Manager. This is the central console for managing roles and features on your server. Click the Start button and choose Server Manager on the list of applications. Click on Manage, then select Add Roles and Features. Choose Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation, then click Next. Select your local server from the list and click Next. In the Server Roles section, check DHCP Server. When prompted, click Add Features, then proceed by clicking Next. Click Next through the remaining screens, and then click Install to begin the installation process. Wait for the installation to complete. Once done, click Close. Now, click the flag icon in the top right of Server Manager and select Complete DHCP Configuration. Use the default settings and click Commit to authorize the server. Then click Close. Next, go to Tools then click DHCP to open the DHCP Management Console. Expand your server name, right-click on IPv4 and select New Scope. This will start the scope wizard. Enter a name for the scope. For example, DHCP Test. Click Next. Now, enter the IP range you want to assign to clients. For example, start at 192.168.1.1 and end at 192.168.1.254. If you are using a slash 24 subnet, the subnet mask is automatically 255.255.255.0. Once validated, click Next. Add any IP addresses you want to exclude from the pool, for example 192.168.1.10 and end at 192.168.1.20. This means that the first 20 IP addresses are reserved and will not be assigned by the DHCP pool. Click Add. Excluded address range should appear on the box. Click Next. Set the least duration. This determines how long a device can use an IP address before requesting a new one. Choose the default duration, which is 8. Click Next. 
choose to configure DHCP options now. Click Next. Enter the default gateway for your network, usually your router's IP address. In this scenario, we will use 192.168.1.1. Click Add and hit Next button. Enter the DNS server IP address. For the meantime, we are utilizing Google Public DNS with the IP address 8.8.8.8 .8 as the preferred DNS server. Click Add and wait for the DNS server to appear in the list. The process may take a few seconds to complete. Once DNS IP address appeared on the list, click Next. If you're not using WINS, just skip this section by clicking Next. Finally, choose to activate the scope now and click Finish. On a client computer, open the command prompt and run ipconfig slash release, followed by ipconfig slash renew. If successful, the client should receive an IP address from the DHCP scope. Back in the DHCP console, go to address leases to see the assigned IPs and verify that the server is functioning correctly. You've now successfully configured the DHCP role in Windows Server 2016. With the DHCP scope in place, your server can automatically assign IP addresses, subnet masks, default gateways, and DNS server details to all devices within your network. Up next, DNS. Welcome to this tutorial on configuring a DNS server in Windows Server 2016. DNS, or Domain Name System, is a critical service that translates human-friendly names like server1.mydomain.local into IP addresses that computers can understand. Let's begin by installing the DNS role. First, open Server Manager from the taskbar or Start menu. At the top right corner, click on Manage and then choose Add Roles and Features. The Add Roles and Features wizard will appear. Click Next to continue. Select Role-based or Feature-based installation and click Next. From the Server Pool, select your server, then click Next. Under Server Roles, check the box for DNS Server. A pop-up window will appear. Click Add Features to include the required tools, then click Next. On the Features page, leave the defaults and click Next. The wizard will then display information about the DNS Server role. Review it and click Next again. On the confirmation page, review your selections. When ready, click Install. The installation will now begin. This may take a few minutes. Once the installation completes, click Close. The DNS server role is now installed on your Windows Server 2016. In the previous scenes, we installed the DNS server role on Windows Server 2016. Now, let's configure it by creating zones and records so our server can resolve names to IP addresses. From Server Manager, click Tools, then select DNS. This opens the DNS Manager console, where we'll configure our zones and records. Let's start by creating a forward lookup zone, which translates host names into IP addresses. Right-click Forward Lookup Zones, then select New Zone, click Next. In the wizard, choose Primary Zone, replicate the zone to your domain controllers, 
and provide a zone name, such as test.neustmgt.com. Choose Default Settings and click Next. Next, do not allow only secure dynamic updates, and then click Finish. Now, let's create a reverse lookup zone, which performs the opposite, resolving IP addresses back to host names. Right-click Reverse Lookup Zones, then select New Zone. Choose Primary Zone. Click Next. Click IPv4. Reverse Lookup Zone, then click Next. Enter your network ID such as 192.168.1. Click Next. Leave the default settings and click Next. And once again, do not allow dynamic updates. Click Next. Click Finish to complete the setup. Congratulations! You've now successfully configured both DHCP and DNS on Windows Server 2016. With DHCP, your server can automatically assign IP addresses and network settings to client devices, reducing manual errors and improving efficiency. With DNS, your server can resolve host names to IP addresses and vice versa, making communication across your network seamless and reliable. Together, DHCP and DNS form the backbone of any modern network, ensuring devices can connect, communicate, and scale with ease. Thank you for following along, and stay tuned for our next tutorial, where we'll explore more advanced Windows Server features.